Morning everyone, NWA Prepper here. So today is today to talk about fuel. So I posted a picture before this video of my empty fuel tank. Yep, that's my empty tank. And I know many of you are you're like, oh yeah, I got it. I got it. I got a half a tank. Because if you didn't notice, that's what the picture was, is the needle on half a tank. Half a tank for, uh, should be your, your empty. And that's easy to say. And I'm, I'm, I am speaking to you from behind the pulpit. I'm in a member of the choir. It's easy to say that I fill up my fuel tank when I get to a half a tank. Except, you know, sometimes I'm doing this and there's not a fuel station or I don't like this station in particular or I know tomorrow I'm going to get, you know, to the, to the Sam's Club. Well, all, ki all kinds of excuses. I am the king of them. None of that matters. What matters is, is part of being ready for emergencies, whether it's whatever the emergency. You guys know I'm, I'm not a big zombie apocalypse guy. It may happen, but I, I don't know. But I am a big deal about it snowing. Now, it's just spitting snow right now. And there's very little accumulation, not even, I mean, very little. You can't even see it on the parking lot behind me. You can't on the hill behind me, but <clears throat> the point is, is it could have snowed a foot because I didn't watch the weather. So I didn't know. There's some of you like, oh, there's no way you can miss a, a snowstorm coming in. Well, there is. <laughs> there is. You just don't pay attention. You've got other things going on. Just like when it comes to filling your fuel tank, there are other things that take your priority. So, that being said, I want to I wanna stress to you the importance of a full tank of fuel. Right now, I could get a call from my son saying, Dad, I'm in Clarendon, Oklahoma. I'm broke down. I need you to come get me. It's 17 degrees here in beautiful downtown Northwest Arkansas. And it's probably colder in Oklahoma because there's the breeze <clears throat> or the wind chill. So I may have to jump in the truck and take off. Well, what if this was yesterday? Today's the second, by the way, January 2nd. A lot of places for fuel were closed yesterday. So, what if I didn't have the fuel to get there? I can't say, no, I'm on my way, but I won't, do I have to go out of my way half an hour or an hour to get fuel? Or can I just jump in the vehicle and go? And that's the deal, is you want your vehicle to be as ready as you can make it so that all you have to do is put your key in the ignition, start it, and you know that's not even a thing you have to worry about. You go pick up your child. You go pick up your mag group member. You go get to your bug out location. You, all these things that having fuel at a level that you don't have to look down and go, oh my gosh, I'm out of fuel. Even if it's just as convenient of it's 15 degrees outside and I don't, I don't want to be out there any more than I have to. And I don't have to stop at a fuel station and get out and get cold. I can just go to work or I can just go home. Those are all wonderful reasons. It costs just as much money to fill your tank or to put fuel in your car when you do it when it's halfway full as it does when it's empty. It doesn't hold any more or any less when the tank's topped or bottomed. So when you get to three quarters or half a tank, stop and top it off costs the same amount of money in the long run as it does you know to wait I, I know it's hard it takes well it takes extra time right instead of 
you know, stopping when it's empty and waiting that much longer to fill it. It takes a little bit more time to make a couple extra stops. So that's, that's really the only valid argument in my mind. And now it's not really valid. Still takes as long to pump in the fuel and the other couple minutes I think we could spare. Top off your tank. Keep it ready to do things. Keep it ready to go where you need it to go. It doesn't go anywhere without fuel. Let's get ready. <laughs>